Okay, so thank you for talking about being a Harrow teacher at Harrow International School, Bangkok. Just tell me a little bit about yourself and where you've come from. Um, I've come from London, South East London to be specific, and I was teaching in a number of schools based in early years, particularly reception and nursery. And I was, and, and I decided to come to Harrow because I wanted to stretch myself as a teacher and I felt that Harrow is, a, is an establishment that really looks to further and develop education. And how long have you been at Harrow? Well, it's been about, maybe about three, three months. Three months. And how have you found the settling process? Have you settled in quite well? I think that everybody here in Harrow wants, wants to welcome you into the family. As soon as you open your door, because I live on campus, everybody says good morning to you and everybody smiles and you feel, you feel part of a family. So even though you're saying goodbye to your family, you're being accepted into a new family. So you're never alone. Very good. Um, how did you find the recruiting process? Obviously you saw the advert, but then where did we go from there? I saw the advert and I showed it to a friend of mine who had taught abroad in Thailand and he said to me, you've got to go for it, that is a school you never turn down. And, and I took his advice, I was a bit scared, but after going through the interview and I was fortunate enough to meet the headmaster and he reassured me because he explained the ethos and where the school was going and I felt that I could really fit into that. So I was glad that I followed my gut instinct and decided to come to Harrow. So you're working within the Early Years Centre. How do you find working with the children in the classroom? I've, to be honest, I absolutely love working in the EYC here and working with the children here because there's a number of reasons. The first is we're really fortunate because we have such a big support unit over here with our TAs and our nannies and also, but then furthermore, our parents. Our parents really help as well. Like. Every, every time you need help, you can just go and ask a member of staff and like Meredith who's in charge of early years at the moment and literally you, the children are amazing. They come to school wanting to learn so for a teacher like me where I wanted to raise my game, coming here I'm able to do dynamic and creative lessons which due to perhaps having to deal with behaviour problems I couldn't do back home, so I'm glad that I came. I did. So you live on campus, tell us a little bit about your house and what it's like to live in Bangkok. It's really nice, I've come from a one bedroom flat in London and to have a whole townhouse which is a two bedroom like little house is brilliant. So hopefully like, I'll have more people come and visit and spend some time with me and then I can show them parts of Bangkok. But it's absolutely nice because you feel as if you're a part of a community. If you need, it sounds really silly, but if you need a cup of sugar, you can just knock next door. Or if, and it's really nice because you see people when you're walking home and they're like, are you okay? Shall we, shall we have a chat? And most of the time, you're just having a giggle. But it's nice, you know you're never far away. Because you are far away from home, but you're never far away from the old English saying of, I put the kettle on. <laughs> And how is it working in Bangkok? It's it, it, or not working, but maybe living in Bangkok and going well, out. And we're like on that. the edge of Bangkok, where, where the school is, but it doesn't matter because it literally takes maybe maybe about 20 minutes, if that, to get into the central part of Bangkok. And it's really good because there's so much to see, but so little time. And you just, it's amazing because you can jump on a train and then you can be a a temple or you, you're not too far from an airport where you can where basically Southeast Asia is is your choice where you can go and there's just so many places to go it's exciting so in your few months here what sort of places have you visited uh, so far I've been to Malaysia and I've been to a couple I've been to a few temples and I've been to and then I've been to um, a couple of art exhibitions out here 
and to be honest a lot of the time if I didn't know where to go it's been members of staff that have pointed me in the right direction so it's really brilliant it really is a family because one evening I was stuck on what to do and a member of staff who works in upper school he said have you tried Ari and he said it's two stops on the BTS train and it was amazing there's like really nice restaurants it's really calm and and then the next day I saw him and I was like, thank you so much for your advice. Very good. And have you been out of Bangkok and been to, have you been to the beach yet? Or? Yes. Last weekend I went to Krabi and it was amazing. It was, it was like on the postcards. It was just absolutely beautiful. And I feel that there's so much of Thailand that I want to explore. And what's really brilliant is that where we work in collaboration with our Thai staff, they're just open with suggestions continuously of where to go to explore this country. Good. Now, three adjectives to describe your working life. Um, I'd say it's fun, it's busy, but it's good busy, and it's rewarding. And it's rewarding because when you see the children and they come in and they're happy and they want to learn, then it makes you happy. And also, you're, it's rewarding because when you're working with your TA and your teams in your classroom and in the EYC, you feel like you're part of a team and that we're all going in the same direction. And what uh, advice, or what one piece of advice, would you give to a teacher who is thinking about applying to Harrow International School, Bangkok? I'd say just do it. Just don't hesitate. It's okay. It is scary, but it's fine. And it'll be fine.